turn that way. Good, right there. Okay, so I'm in the shop. Here's my dilemma. Let me show you what I got going on. So, trail mater over here. I have these old retired straps here. They're kinetic ropes. They've had a rough life. They they broke and so I use them for my X straps. When I re-threaded them, I just went through itself like you should do with a winch rope. But this is so big and heavy to deal with and I don't have all the right tools. I saw something on the beautiful internet about bigger shrink wrap. How to use a bottle basically as shrink wrap. So I have some bottles and I'm gonna to try to use them as shrink wrap for my X straps. So you don't need a whole lot to get this to work. Most of the load as this tightens is pinching on that. You just need something to hold it. Not entirely against it. I think it needs like some better coverage, like a longer bottle maybe. I'm kind of digging it. Okay, lost my color. I'm a little emotional about not having green, but we'll see how this works. That's pretty sweet. This one's done. This one has the bottle shrink wrapped around it and then I wrapped it with tape. This one I'm just wrapping with tape to kind of clean up and put back together. So this is what I do with old ropes that are retired that have seen their use and they're damaged and they're not gonna work anymore. This wouldn't work for pulling, you'd never pull with this. But to stabilize a load right there, you can see it's only like four feet long. I'm gonna swap out these these right here, these are very old Factor 55 ones, but they come with this coating on them, this wrapped braiding around it. These have lasted for a long time, and I really like how they're coated like that. So I was really excited when, when the, the new Harbor Freight Badlands ones are coated like that. So time to get some new ones. So I'm digging these. I'm gonna, we're gonna try these. So yeah, then you would hook this up and around the frame and then this would pull at the knot right here. And then that goes across to the suspension or something, so. Ta-da! I cannot explain how much I love these, these new Yankum double ones because uh, that is so handy. You're always short a soft shackle. I'm always putting two soft shackles together to get somewhere. And that with the protection on it, <laughs> love these things. Ta-da, she's back and ready to work. Sweet. Today's flavor is brought to you by uh, Peach Flavor. Peach Vibe. Peach Vibe, yeah, it's like Beach Vibe, but with a P. So here we are, we are headed for Porcupine Rim today. We didn't go up yesterday like we thought we were going to and check this job out. Guy contacted us, said he had parts being overnighted. So we just went ahead and put it off till today. We're heading up to Porcupine Rim to put new tie rods, inner and outer tie rods on this Ford Raptor. We've got Sean behind us in the scrambler. Of course, Mike on the camera. Hey man, you need a ride? <laughs> I need a ride. I need a lot of things. We're heading in in this way, right? Yeah, um, there's a real sharp turn yeah, to yeah, get yeah. down there. I don't know if you're familiar with it. I just wanted to let you know. Very, very familiar. Okay, awesome. Yeah, Sean's right there. You can hop in with him. Cool, thanks guys. Yeah. So this is the world famous Porcupine Rim. Is it world famous? Uh, if you ride a bicycle on it, it is.
you have a name for that maneuver? The, the two-wheel drive super bump or? <laughs> uh, luckily, John. Here's the vehicle. Here comes the tow truck and the scramblator. Here is our situation. We got a sweet Ford Raptor kind of right here on the edge. All right. Which one is it? The driver's side. Oh, I see it. It's right there. Is where it's on that ledge right there? Yeah. It's, tur it's forcing it that way. If we bring it up about a foot and a half, okay. we can turn the wheel. Okay, I'm gonna get it uh, out of yeah, gear yeah. and then yeah, get it break off. And, yeah, get it Everything ready to go. Hold up right there. Good. Yeah, put it apart. Yeah, we got a, well, it's not an egg yet until it goes on the inside. Ooh, what do we got here? RPG billet tie rods. Billet? Yeah, they were sitting in my garage with my billet, upper control arms, and all the other goodies that I didn't get a chance to put on. All right, you win, Mike. Yeah. Oh. It's blue. We were taking bets on what color it was on the way here. I was thinking the brighter blue, because that's more color. That, that was what I honestly was thinking, yeah. too. Yeah, but it, it is it's blue. dark blue. Yeah, it's blue. Tech, super safe. I wonder what OSHA thinks of our safety system. I didn't ask. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> we call that safety sound. <laughs> we got here. And I started sliding towards that little lip there. Yep. And uh, so I tried to cut back and walk up on this rock. And I, so I had a pretty decent steering angle in. And she spun and snapped. Dang it. And then we hoofed it two miles at midnight so we could get cell service and call 911. At least it was probably a little cooler at midnight. It was, it was, it was. What's up, metal? Somebody. <laughs> Waiters, people at the t-shirt shop, the cop. <laughs> Cops definitely know us. <laughs> yeah, he's the one who. Uh, Usually in a it. good way, Mike. <laughs> Usually. Usually. So now you can really see the dysfunction of what's happening here. <laughs> really see the broken parts. <laughs> hey, look at that shirt. You, you need them? one of those for changing tie rod ends or just upgrading your life. Yeah, it's tapered, so it's that sweet. Okay, Mike, what we're doing here? So we didn't have the right size the Allen wrench, but we had a right size bolt. So use the head of the that bolt. That we can make an Allen wrench out of. Okay, so we got some <laughs> nuts and a bolt and world's strongest impact. It's on. I'll get the boot put on when I... Yeah, it's going to need all aligned and changed anyway. Oh, yeah, true, true.
fire. Sean, how's that looking? It's almost there, dude. Like, gotta reel it up towards you a little bit. Right. I figured that. I think we should get it up uh, <laughs> on level ground, sitting on its own weight, and then maybe assess the the toe. Foot or two. There you go. Faster and forward. There you are. We'll start going that way. We'll follow you out. Awesome. Yeah, I was going to ask. Is that the plan? Yeah. Yeah, we'll be right behind you. Awesome. Thank you guys. Yep. Which way are you going to go? I'm going to go right down this. Just. <laughs>
back on the road again. So anyway, we got him out of there. It's all good. He's heading out. He's gonna try and get down to the shop and uh, get the truck aligned really quick before they got a ski daddle out of here. Anyway, thanks for watching. Here we go. Done a few of those. When's the last time you went hiking, Sean? You know, because now. Oh yeah, all the way from <laughs> way over yonder way. <laughs> what? No, I was I was asking when the last time your vehicle yeah, broke down was, was and you had to walk hiking, home. <laughs> Luckily, we didn't see any mountain lions. Don't worry, you never see them. <laughs> yeah, they'll get you before you see them. <laughs> they'll never see it. Well, I told my wife, I was like, you don't worry about it, you'll be dead before you know. Your mic just. <laughs> Just a fountain of happiness. <laughs> Just overflowing with positivity. <laughs> Wait, so your name is Sean as well? It is. It oh, is. This oh is that's he probably, why was... he probably spells it weird though. No, I spelled the right way. See, let's Whoa. see. Which way? <laughs> S E N. <Whoa>. Nope. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the right way. Nope. Oh. <laughs> that's the wrong way. <laughs> you know what? This tie rod, don't. Oh, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I spelled the wrong way.